Thanks. Hi, I'm Chris, and attacking me with kisses is Barda. Ah, okay, okay, I'll get it. Uh, this weekend was kind of slow project-wise, but I did kind of eke out some time and uh, make a holder for the Japanese whaleback saw on that CDX that I put up on the wall. Um, and this is why it takes me so long to finish a project. I mean, I gotta throw some embellishments on it. I mean, really, who just puts up something that holds up a tool and, you know, doesn't do some carvings on it? So it's gonna take me probably another day to finish like the little circle carvings and things like that on there And then I don't know I'm thinking really with this one um, I might just do some kind of guerrilla style editing on it and just throw it on the main maker channel just to get something out there because It has been over a month since I put something on there and I gotta do something but so back to uh, the topic here um I've been reading the Anarchist uh, Design book by Christopher Schwartz, and one of the things that I found kind of interesting in the beginning of the book was that he mentioned that a lot of examples of classic furniture are furniture, you know, that you see in museums, and really that's, that's furniture from wealthier, the wealthier folks. I mean, that's, that was really well taken care of, that lasted the ages. Um, and that the furniture for kind of an everyday person was a much simpler design. Um, so my question to you this week is, do you kind of have an example of that simpler design where you've made it and you're not like, oh man, you know, showing this off to your friends, but you use it every day. Like <laughs> you spent, I don't know, an hour slamming this thing together with some really simple joints. Maybe, I don't know, you screwed it from the outside and <laughs> it was made with scraps or whatever, you know? Um, but the thing is, is that you still use it every day and you've been using it for like a year, two years, three, 10. <laughs> I think I threw together a box and still using it for 10. Um, so if you don't mind, please leave uh, in the description below, you know, a link to pictures or like a short little description of what you made. Uh, I appreciate you sharing it. Um, mine is a shoe rack that was made from leftover pieces of birch plywood. Now, this was pre-finished birch plywood and none of the pieces were wide enough to make this shoe rack. So I was just kind of popping them together and finagling the sides so that I could put some some screws in there to make it work. But really, that has been down there for like five years. <laughs> it's been kind of ridiculous. And I use it every day. Well, <laughs> with that, let's take a look at some useful stuff. In keeping with the theme of straightforward designs, I thought I'd share Home DIT's article of 14 inspiring designs using scrap wood. All these use simple joints and look like they can be put together pretty quick. Well, I'd like to thank you for watching, and if you don't mind, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next week.